16. The Super Eagles proved many wrong when they went to Ndola, Zambia to beat the Chipolopolo 2-1, a ground the Zambians have never been defeated. To change by passes by Nigeria. Chance now for Nigeria. Mwen has been drawn out of his line. Opportunity and they've scored. 2 new Nigeria lead here. My word. With that hurdle scaled, the players prepared for what many predicted will be their toughest challenge, the Desert Foxes of Algeria. It's not going to be an easy game, but we'll do our best to make sure we get the three points. And um, we've got quality players here, um, collectively and individually. Um, I think we're, we're confident enough and um, there's a lot of talents that we've got. We as players, as together as a team, with the manager, the staff, everyone, I think we are concentrating on the game. The game is the more, most important thing. We want to make sure we win. Yes, we played one game, we won one game. This game, the next game, is very important. If we win, we six point. We we got six points, and we're almost there. Yeah. Victor Moses. Victor Moses. Oh, the pass can a bit too late. I don't, I don't... And on match day, the team did not disappoint football fans at the Godswilla Pabio Stadium in New York, taking a two 0 lead in the first half. Although the Algerians pulled one back to narrow the scoreline 2-1. Victor Moses' superb strike sealed it for Nigeria. It's a sweet scoreline the team will savor at the moment, but for technical advisor Gennot Ra, the job is not done yet. A lot of work to do. We want, we want to have a better team. We must progress. Uh, some positions we can find something better, I think. But what I like in this team, we change the team, the same spirit. We had this good spirit already against Tanzania here and in Zambia. So we must conserve it and make better in several situations defensively at first. Offensively I think we are, we are strong, we can do better, we have other players too to see perhaps. But we have a, a construction now, a building, who is very solid. With this victory we're playing well. Uh, like the coach said, we're responding very well to what he wants us to do. Uh, 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 aggressive football, offensive football, keep the ball because we have a lot of young players who want to play. The movement in the team is very important, the way we move Alex Kelechi, uh, Victor Moses today. We have to move around, so it's always difficult for the team to pick us up. Um, so we have to continue like this and playing well like this, I think we have a very good chance of uh, qualifying to the, uh, the World Cup. The Super Eagles now have a strong lead in Group B with six points and will face the indomitable Lions of Cameroon on August the 28th next year. Thank you for staying tuned. Uh, we're on stretch now. Uh, Cecilia, obviously, after that very impressive performance, the players were, you know, all over social media, you know, expressing their delights uh, with that victory over Algeria. Yeah, we're starting with Victor Moses. He says, fantastic win today and great team performance. Always an honor to play for my country. Mm. Boston to score two goals to hashtag Nigeria. That, that's commitment. So, wow. uh, coming from the captain himself, he says, what a night, yes. what a win. Three points, top of the group and a goal. Still a long way to go, but we believe hashtag Super Eagles Russia 2018. Yes, that's where we're going to. And this one coming from William Trust Ekon, one of the defensive war the great team performance yesterday nigeria Super eagles then uh, road to russia that's his own hashtag there so we're almost there six points in the bag so and one coming from alex he will be of course he wouldn't definitely want to go to sleep without tweeting he says great great team performance yeah. uh, victory and three points with my brother i mean yeah, you guys. Two, <laughs> both of them also pretty good then far hashtag there <laughs> there's a bit of bromance going on between those two guys there now the young yeah, stars it, 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 it's going it's going on all over the team all because the team. I, I i saw some tweets out from also leo balogu oh, uh, yeah. where, Tristan. Tristan, where the hashtag you <laughs> 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 and it was funny because you know oh, you both brother oh, oh, you both, oh, you both, oh, you both, both partnership 
they have a uh, formula wall, so it's, it's an Oyubo wall and yes, Nigerian yes. defense. Well, it's good they're happy for it. I, I, I'm happy with the camaraderie happening really? in the team. It's, it's, it's a united front, which is very good. I, 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 it's been a long time we, we've had that. It's very good. Everybody, we saw a selfie with all the play, most of the yeah, players at the end of the game. Them, yeah. So that's, I, that's what I'm taking away from this. They are united. They want to get this done. So good one, everyone is going the same yeah. direction it's, as well. So they, they will take some stopping. It's, it's looking up for Nigeria. It's looking very good. Let's oh. just hope that between now and August <laughs> things don't change. Things don't. Yeah, things don't unravel. Um, Cecilia, we have got some tweets okay, as well to, from the fans. The exactly. Before we go to the papers, um, from the fans as well. So obviously they had a great time uh, watching that particular match between uh, Nigeria and Algeria. Foster Okoye says on uh, the Super Eagles were fantastic uh they deserve an ovation obviously uh when Definitely. you win that convincingly uh you deserve um every credit in the world and cecilia people are not happy with the falcons as well too uh coyote adelaide says um female football doesn't get enough attention anymore in this country and is calling on all the authorities you know to do something about it so as to you know arrest that very alarming slide we saw what happened with the uh, flamingos at the world cup in jordan you know got knocked out in the first round now the Falconets losing the first game in such a scandalous fashion. Yeah, it's supposed to cause uh, uh, some cause for Orlando because yeah. definitely look at what's happening. At the last on the, on the 20 World Cup, you saw how we performed and yeah. I think we've been to the final twice. So it shows you that uh, there's a steep decline now what's happening, losing 6-0 to Japan. Of course, uh, definitely you talk about uh, their array flights, arrangements and everything, how they got to where they uh, got to play the game. But at the end of the day, I think he's, he's making a point, the fact that we really need to look more into it. Attention has to be paid to this guy, to these girls. And uh, you know what? More encouragement than every other thing. Mm. Okay, women's football is rising everywhere, but obviously not in Nigeria. More tweets? Yes, Cecilia, more tweets. Still on the Falcons. Oluwa Tobi Loba uh, says, uh, poor performance uh, from the Falconets, and uh, they couldn't complete five straight passes. Cecilia, was, that, was it that bad? It was that bad, yes. It was really, really bad. I mean, at, really? I, at, 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 at first, I felt... Are we watching Nigeria? Is it Nigeria game? They play like I, strangers. Like, yeah, like strangers, you know. Wow. It, it, it was terrible. Yeah, it, like I said, the girls didn't start coming in like 13 so minutes yeah. into the game. So it's like they got tired of, you know, the pressure was so much on them. They got tired. And when they started letting in, it was a rush.